Hi, for today's class, we're going to start in child's pose. Take the sit bones back to the heels, the rib cage to the thighs. If it's not comfortable for you to have the knees together, you certainly can separate the knees. And you can have the hands either forward or back, or make a little pillow with your hands. Rest your forehead on the hands. So take a few moments here, just coming from wherever you're coming from, to allow your awareness to shift inside, into your own breath, to what's going on with your body today. If the arms aren't in front, take them in front. And if your arms are in front, walk them out a little bit more so you feel a stretch in your shoulders. And then inhale. Come up to the hands and the knees and move the hands so that they're right under the shoulders and have some space between the knees. If you have sensitive knees, have an extra mat or a towel or something under your knees and push your back up into cat stretch. So take the shoulder blades wide and push the lower back, the lumbar spine, up, drawing the navel in. And then Press into the palms of the hands and pull the chest through into dog tilt. Just let your back bend. Tilt the sit bones up. Squeeze the elbows towards each other. And exhale. Press into the cat stretch. Inhale into dog. So swing the pelvis up. Bring the chest up. Loosen up the back. Exhale, push it into cat. Inhale, bend the back into dog. And once we're exhale, cat. And inhale, dog. And come to neutral. And you're going to take the right shoulder and hip closer together so the right side of your waist is contracting and the ribs are going to poke out to the left. So you're making a, like a parenthesis or a C with your spine. So the right shoulder and hip getting as close together as they can. And then go to the other side. Take the left shoulder and hip close together so the muscles in the left waist are contracting. And everything on the right side is stretching. Go back to the first side. Shorten the right waist, lengthen the left, stretch the left. And go to side two. And then come to neutral, and you're going to take a twist. Bring the right hand a little bit forward, and slide onto the side of your shoulder and the side of the head, like this. And the right hand can stay down. You can help go deeper into the stretch by tilting your chest a little more open. Maybe you can come on the back of the head. And if that's the case, you might press the palms together and namaste or extend the right arm open. Big, deep, complete breaths. And let the right hand come down. Slide the left arm out. Place the hands right under the shoulders. In between sides, press up into cat. And bend the back into dog.
and come to neutral, take the left hand a little bit forward, come onto the side of the right arm, sliding the right arm through, and either keep the left hand down on the side of the head and the shoulder, or tilt a little further, coming onto the back of the shoulder and the back of the head, and then you have the choice of pushing the palms together to get some leverage, or extending the left arm open. And with an exhale, let the left arm come down, slide the right arm out. So the shoulders are right over the palms. And once again, exhale into cat stretch. And bend the back into dog. And come to neutral, turn the toes under, lift the knees up, pull the shoulders back, come into downward facing dog. And for the first one of these, take the heels up high. So you're stretching the arches of the feet and the toes. Bend the knees and try to pull the ribs to touch the thighs. So you're relaxing the neck and really exaggerating the stretch in your shoulders. And then charge the left heel down towards the floor. Bend just the right knee. Switch legs. Charge the right heel down, bend the left knee. And then go to both feet and walk the hands back to the feet for a moment. And just allow yourself to hang forward. So you can have the hands on the floor, you can have the hands on a block, or if you want, you can grab the elbows, just dangle, maybe sway a little bit. back into downward facing dog. And then inhale to plank pose. And either take the knees, actually take the knees to the floor for this first one. So your shoulders, hips, and knees are in line. And then look a little bit forward, bend the elbows, maybe just a little bit, just to where you can get back up from without collapsing your shoulders forward and then take the legs straight and come to down dog and shift forward to plank pose again. Do the same thing or take a full chaturanga, plank pose down dog and take that one more time. Inhale plank and chaturanga, do it on the knees if you need to and down dog. And then inhale to plank pose and lower all the way to the floor. All the way down. And peel the chest up, inhale. And then come into sphinx pose. So the elbows are under the shoulders, the wrists are as wide as your elbows. Lift the chest up and gently tug the chest forward, lengthen your lower back. And then Lift the chest up and gently pull the chest forward and then lift your elbows up and pull the hands back to pull the chest forward even more. And if this is too much for you, stick with Cobra Pose I and mean, stick with Sphinx Pose. And then, or if you can, move the hands back into Cobra Pose. Go to the hands and the knees. Go lay down, baby. Go in your bed. Good girl. Come to Downward Facing Dog. And then inhale to Plank Pose. And bend the elbows lower to the mat or to Chaturanga, this time to come to Up Dog or again take Cobra Pose. And lift from the lower belly, exhale to Downward Facing Dog.
and then walk or jump your feet up to the hands. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold forward. And inhale, come up to standing. And open the arms to the side or take the hands down the middle. Samastiti and we'll flow into Suranamaskar A. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Open up and exhale, fold forward. Lift the chest up, inhale. Plant the hands down, walk back or jump both feet back to Chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale to up dog or cobra. And exhale to downward facing dog. And hold down dog for five breaths, one. Feel the whole palm of the hand rooting into the floor, two. Draw the navel in as you exhale, three. Walk or jump forward. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stand. And open to the side, or if you prefer, take the hands down the middle. Take one more Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold forward. And lift the chest, inhale. Step the opposite foot if you stepped, or hop both feet back to Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. And then shift to plank pose. Inhale. And bring the right knee to the right arm. Exhale. And plank pose. Inhale. And left knee, left arm. Exhale. And plank pose. And take the right knee to the left arm, exhale, and plank, and left, right, crossing. Do that two more times. Right knee, right arm, exhale, inhale, and left knee, left, exhale, inhale, and right knee, left, exhale, step it back, and left, right. One more time. Right knee, right. Exhale, step back, inhale, and left knee, left. Step back, inhale, and the right to the left. Step back, left to right. Step back, and now step the right foot inside the right hand, and just come into a lunge. So if you need to, you can have your hands on blocks. Just press the back leg straight, and let the front hip and quadricep move down towards the floor. To get a nice opening in the quad and the hip flexors. And then turn the back heel to the mat. Step it a tad to the left. Square off your shoulders, root the front foot, and peel the chest up off of the thigh. For Virabhadrasana 1, draw the lower belly in too. Look straight ahead or up. And take the hands down. And you have a choice to go right to down dog or take a vinyasa. Shift to plank pose and step the left foot forward. And hold a lunge. Let the right quadricep and hip flexors open up. even ujjayi breaths. Turn the back heel down to the floor, root both feet, bend the front knee, square the shoulders, peel the chest up off of the thigh, and inhale to Virabhadrasana one, looking forward or up. And let the hands come down. Step back to plank, and again, either go to down dog from here or chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, 
And take a big inhale, look up, exhale, walk or jump forward. Inhale, lift the chest up and fold forward. Now, let the feet move apart, just toe heel them apart. Slide the palms to the hands right under the soles of the feet. So we did a lot of planks already and chaturangas. So just a little counter stretch for your wrists. Give your hands a little massage. Pada Hastasana. And then carefully, you can play around with bending the knees here. There's a few of you who might be able to come into a squat. Let's do it with the hands under the feet. If you can't go that far, just go to where you can go. And then take the hands out from under the feet. Take the feet together toe heel them together, bend the knees again without the hands under them, and come into chair pose, Uttakasana, sit back towards the heels. Draw the navel in as you exhale. And then stand, inhale, and let the hands lower, exhale. And we've done all the pieces for it. We're going to flow into Sir Namaskara B, starting with chair pose, Uttakasana, inhale, and fold forward, exhale. Lift the sternum up, inhale. Step or jump back to Chaturanga, exhale, to upward facing dog. Inhale to downward facing dog, putting the right foot forward. Turn the back heel to the mat, and come to Durvadrasana one, inhale and to Chaturanga, exhale, and to Upward Facing Dog, Downward Facing Dog, left foot forward, right heel down, to Virabhadrasana one, inhale, to Chaturanga, exhale, to Upward Facing Dog, and to Downward Facing Dog. Now we're going to go back to the knees and hands. We're not going to finish the whole thing out. I want you to arch into a dog tilt. Let the knees come a little closer together. Exhale, take the knee to the forehead. And inhale, stretch the leg up. Do this three times. Exhale, take the knee in. And inhale, stretch it up. And one more time. Exhale, take the knee in. And inhale, stretch it up and take the left hand up. So balance on the right hand and left knee too. And then bend the back knee. Reach around, see if you can grab your foot. Anytime you need to come out, just come out and rest. If you can, then lift up into crossbow. come down, turn the left toe under, come into extended down dog. So down dog on one leg. Reach the right leg up. You can open the hip if you want to. You can bend the lifted leg if you want to. You could try to do the crossbow here, which is a bit more challenging. Left hand down if you brought that. Take the right leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Step forward. Come to Virabhadrasana one. Inhale. Open up to Virabhadrasana two. Exhale and flow into Reverse Warrior. Just stretch back too. Not leaning on the left knee. You can touch below or above or wrap.
Now let the right arm circle in front of you and let the left arm circle up. And in between, turn both feet out. Take the hands into prayer pose. Let's come into horse pose or temple pose. And sit down a little deeper and straighten the legs. Inhale and bend them. Exhale, push the knees towards the wall behind you. Straighten up, inhale and bend down. Exhale. And one more, straighten up, inhale, and bend down, exhale, and turn the right foot in, and turn the left foot all the way sideways. Let the hips shift to the right, reach out to the left for triangle pose, Uttita Trikonasana. Bring the wrist up over the shoulder. Look straight ahead or up. The hand can be lightly touching or pressing against the leg. We're grabbing the big toe, or if the legs are wide, touching the floor. Inhale, come on up and come to your Vajrasana 2 on the left side and this time we'll hold warrior 2. Back leg is solid, draw the navel in towards the spine. And take the hands down and make your way to down dog. to your hands and knees. Inhale into dog two. Exhale, cat, take the left knee in. And inhale, take the left leg up one. And exhale in. And inhale up two. And exhale in. And inhale up three and take the right arm up. See if you can find your foot. And take the right hand down. Turn the right toe under. Stretch up. You can open the hip. Or bend the knee. Or try to take the foot. Sweep the leg up, inhale, step it forward, exhale. To warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, inhale. To Virabhadrasana two, exhale. To reverse warrior. And turn both feet out. Let the arm come in front of you, let the hands come together. This time, interlace the fingers, push out towards the front of the room. And reach the palms up towards the ceiling. And then lift your heels, straighten your legs, and lower your heels, and bend the legs. And lift the heels, and straighten, and lower the heels, and bend. And one more time, lift the heels and straighten. And lower the heels and bend. And take the hands in front of you and change the finger cross. And reverse, you're gonna straighten the legs, then lift the heels. Bend the knees and lower. And straighten and lift. And bend the knees and lower. And one more time, straighten and lift and bend the knees and lower and turn the left foot in as you turn the right foot out reach out for triangle pose and then inhale come on up and go to Virabhadrasana 2 warrior 2 
And take the hands down. And for the last time, make your way to down dog. And again, come onto your knees. And you're gonna move onto your forearms. Um, so this is on a Hatha Asana, heart opening asana. You're gonna interlace the fingers, take the elbows forward and drop the chest towards the floor. Now, if you're very open in your shoulders and you have a couple of blocks, or even one block could work for some people, but I'll show it too. You can take your elbows onto the edge of the block and this is like the accelerated on a hot asana. The knuckles up towards the ceiling, and then you can go through your arms. Just stretch out the arms that have been working so hard. And switch the finger across. And then come on up and take the hands down. And come sitting. If you can, cross the ankles and pull the thighs into the chest. Drag yourself through. And bring the, start with the left leg under, take the right knee up for a twist. Reach up with the left arm, inhale, take the elbow to the outside of the knee, exhale and sit tall, look around to the back. Big, deep breaths. So there are some arm positions that can go with this. If you can do them, don't worry about it if you can't. The left shoulder goes outside the right knee and the left hand grabs the right big toe. And this is the harder one. The right hand grabs the left inner thigh. Take a great big inhale and exhale, release and switch sides. Take the right leg under, take the left knee up. Sit tall and twist or press the elbow outside the knee or take the shoulder outside the leg if you're trying to reach the toe. by the right hip for cow face pose, Gomakasana. If you need to, put a block between your ankles so you can sit on a block. So your cow pose might be something more like this. As long as it doesn't hurt your knees, that's okay. So we're inwardly rotating the hips by bringing the knees narrower than the hips. If you can, you're sitting on the floor, separating the feet. There's different versions of this, but for today this will do. And you may either hold the feet, sit up, or you can bend forward here, or you can add the arms. Take the right arm up and down, and take the left arm down and up. And fold forward for about 10 breaths. Inhale, come on up, 
And we're going to switch sides. So there's a few ways to switch sides. One that's kind of fun is just keep the feet where they are. Take the knees up. Take the hands behind you to the right and swoop around. So you end up with the right leg on top of the left. The other way, another way, is to rock forward and just recross this way. Or however you get there. <laughs> so I'll have the right leg on top this time. And we'll have the left arm up if you're doing the arms. And you're welcome to sit tall with it or add the forward bend or a little of both. Hands come behind you. Just lean back and undo your legs and shake them out a little bit. If you feel any tightness or stiffness. And then lay down on your back with the knees bent. And if you have a block, grab a block. Just take a breath or two here. Let your back relax into the floor. If you have a block, go ahead and you could use, also use blankets. Go ahead and put the blankets or the block under your back, but um, the lower height. This is therapeutic to relax the back and slow down the heart rate. We're going to put the feet up. You could grab a strap and put them around your feet. You could also move yourself to the wall and do the same thing against a wall. Here. Just let your whole body start to slow down and rest after the strong, short practice. Tune into those long, slow, deep breaths. Take the feet down and remove the block. Give the knees one final little hug. If you want, you can curl the forehead up towards the knees. And if you want to get a blanket or a sweater or cover your eyes, do so and let yourself rest for about five or, five or ten minutes in Shavasana. Namaste. Have a good Shavasana. Namaste.